Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here, and we're finally back with another Overwatch Theory video. In today's video, we're going to be answering a simple question. How fast are Hanzo's arrows? Well, simple questions don't always have simple answers. I know what you're thinking. What do you mean? They can go as fast as I can click. Look, I can fire them this fast. But no. What we're actually going to try and figure out today is how fast his actual arrows fly through the air when the bow is fully drawn. So, first things first, let me give you a bit of a background on archery. Arrows gain their propelling force from the bowstring. As the bow is drawn, the string and the limbs, that's the curving part of the bow past the handles, bend and store kinetic energy. When the string is released, the string and the limbs snap back to their initial positions, releasing any stored energy. And since the base or knock of the arrow is resting on the string itself, a lot of the stored energy is passed onto it, sending it forward. The amount of energy that can be stored in a bow depends on a couple of things, the first being the material the bow is made from. Stronger materials can store more energy but will be more difficult to pull back. The amount of effort required to pull back the string of the bow is known as the draw weight. Second, the length of the draw. Archers with longer arms can typically pull back bowstrings further, and this is known as the draw length. Of course, the further back you pull, the more effort it takes. And these two things combined are what gives the arrow its propelling power. So, logically then, if you want the fastest arrows, you need a bow with a very high draw weight and an archer with very long arms, right? Well, not exactly. There's one other factor, and that's the weight of the arrow. Arrows come in all weights, sizes, and designs, and all are for different purposes. For example, the arrows you see at archery competitions would not be the same as those used for hunting bears. Hunting arrows, also called broadheads, are specially designed and weighted arrows which have a high penetrating potential when hitting the target. They are specially weighted and typically they're much heavier than competition arrows or practice arrows. And this is because of physics. Heavier arrows can carry far more impact energy when hitting the target at the cost of slightly reduced speed. The heads of the arrows are shaped like the tip of a spear. They're broad, hence the name, and are built to not only withstand the impact of flying full force into large game, but also designed to cut through the flesh as deeply as possible. These types of arrows have actually existed for centuries and have been used for similar purposes all throughout their time in history. If we look at Hanzo's arrows closely, we can see the shape of it roughly corresponds to the shape of a broadhead arrow. And this makes sense since these types of arrows were originally used in war throughout medieval times as well. Hanzo's bow seems to resemble a modern day recurve bow. It features a reinforced grip complete with a hardened guard which can be used for parrying blades and even has a modern stabilizer weight on the bottom half. The bow itself is actually fairly large, so much so that he has to count the bow sideways when firing. Hanzo's technique matches that of modern day archers, albeit with a significantly greater lean and count on the bow. Modern archers tend to stand straight up and fire their bows from a perfectly vertical position. For the purposes of this explanation, I will be ignoring the position it is held in the first person view simply because it is inconsistent with any known archery technique and also wouldn't allow for a long enough draw to be useful. It seems just that the bow is so large that the developers have chosen to use a sideways grip just to allow the players to see anything on the screen. So firstly, we have to figure out what Hanzo's draw length is and what his bow's draw weight is. Since we don't have exact numbers for each character's height, we can only work with estimates and based on relative height between Hanzo and the other characters, we can reasonably estimate that Hanzo is approximately 6 feet tall. This would give him an average draw length of approximately 29 inches. According to a hunting website, which I've linked in the description below, the recommended draw weights for someone like Hanzo could be within the 55 to 65 pound range. However, given his muscular physique, he could even be comfortable at the 65 to 75 pound range. This makes it tricky to estimate since we don't know for sure what his personal preference would be. However, since the relationship between arrow speed and kinetic energy also requires us to factor in the arrow weight, the speed of the arrows can still be fairly similar even with bows with heavier draw weights. So in other words, the speed of the arrows from a 55 pound bow can be similar to that of a 75 pound bow, assuming the 75 pound bow is firing heavier arrows. And while a heavier arrow will carry more kinetic energy, it may not need all that much energy to take down a human. If we look at this chart, we can see the correlation between arrow weights on the left 
and kinetic energy measure in foot-pounds on the right. Now, let's see what the recommendations are for hunting. Obviously, there are no recommendations for humans here, but it's reasonable to assume that whatever can pierce through deer shouldn't have too many issues piercing through a person. So, based on the range provided, we only need a minimum of approximately 42 pounds of energy. But the last thing to bear in mind is that Hanzo's bow is a recurve bow and not a compound, and this means that the arrows will be much slower than the ones on the chart I showed earlier. But thankfully, we can still calculate it. Since we know what the minimum energy we need is, we just need to estimate the arrow weight in order to get the speed. And based on my calculations, a 600 grain arrow will need to be moving at 180 feet in order to generate 43 foot-pounds of energy. However, 180 feet per second is just an estimate, and frankly, it's really fast for a recurve. But it's the closest we can estimate it to since there's so many variables at work here. For example, it's also possible for him to achieve kills using a lighter arrow at slower speeds since 42 foot-pounds is just a recommendation and lower amounts of energy may still do the job. So what we really have here is a bit of a lackluster conclusion. We can estimate that Hanzo's arrows are flying at around 160 to 190 feet per second when fully drawn, but there's many other factors which cannot be determined to give us a better answer. But hopefully this all gives you guys a better idea of the world of archery and gets you to think a little bit about how all this stuff works. In the making of this video I had to do a lot of research about archery and hunting and while I have done a small amount of archery myself it's not anywhere near enough to the wealth of knowledge that actual bow hunters or competitive archers would have. And I'm fairly certain I've barely scratched the surface here, but I hope this video has been informative for you guys as well, so leave a like and even favourite the video if you've enjoyed it. Also, let me know what you guys think. Are you an archer yourself, and what do you think of Hanzo's archery technique? Would you bring a bow to a gunfight? And if you were one of the Shimada brothers, what would be your preferred martial art style? Let me know down in the comments below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. My name is Panzer, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.